Okay, so ladies and germs, welcome to what is going to be the start of the Kirby Star Allies playthrough. Uh, I'm Square Pro 1000. I almost didn't even want to play it uh, for a playthrough, to be honest. But after reconsidering, because I did Amazing Mirror a long time ago and Nightmare in Dreamland a long time ago, I said, why not? And I also did Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, which I always forget that I played because I basically beat that in like one day. Um, and it was fun. It just was okay. Like, I usually don't play too many Kirby games, so why not? The only two I actually really played were Squeak Squad and uh, Nightmare in Dreamland because I owned those when I was a kid. And I actually like this game for what I played from the demo, so I think it'll be pretty interesting. Especially since you can mix and match powers like Squeak Squad, which I thought was one of the best parts of Squeak Squad. So I'm interested. Except for the part where Squeak Squad is very annoying to 100% or whatever. I guess the curling Billy is also like an upgrade on Stone Kirby as well. Star Allies, my friends. Yes! Uh... What the fuck is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is, this is the gallery. They basically ripped the gallery from the 3DS Street Pass just to fuck around with and put it in here. Okay, well, let's, let's begin. So, far, far away, in Thanos' throne room, Did this man just shatter Kingdom Hearts? My man, Meta Knight! <laughs> Does he eat it? Because DDD literally knows nothing else. Oh, okay, maybe not. So basically, the world's first space weeaboo decides he wants to make friends however possible. So some people get good hearts and some people get bad hearts, is basically what I'm guessing. And we all should be so lucky that DDD got the bad heart and Kirby got the good heart. The world of peace, Dreamland. Okay, I actually did not know you could move around this open world. Like a, a Mario game. They must generally like that a lot about Mario games. Okay, I'm probably going to use the D-pad just because in general... I like the way that the D-pad plays much better over everything else. So Waddle Dees don't give you any powers because Waddle Dees are basic bitches. So there's no reason. Okay, these guys give you swords. You can, oh, apparently you shoot beams in this game. As though it's Zelda. Oh shit, yeah, there you go. You can do that. But it's, it's not a spin attack in this game, it's only a dive. What, basically you can make friends with them? These guys are nothing, though. They're, they're like generics. So now he's a friendly guy. So they follow you, basically, and they assist you, which is nice. Now, they say you can make friends with people who have abilities, but I wonder if you can make friends... They're, they're calling my house again. It's really ridiculous. 
I wonder if you can make friends with someone who does not have an ability. <laughs> can you? Well, if they don't murder them, holy shit, man. What do they do to you? For all you know, they're just trying to escape. Yeah, is it? Can you do the spin? No, I don't think you can. You can apparently kiss them to get health back. Looks like they can, like, transfer health to you. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. I guess they took it out. Oh, no, you can... Oh, you have to hold forward? I have no clue. I did it somehow. Oh, okay, you have to wait until you spin while jumping. It's not as instant as before. Alright, let me stick around here. Get him. Bust his ass, come on, he's right there. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, so it is in the game. I think you have to wait until you spin in the air. It's really weird. Okay. You can get Fire Sword, which is nice. Uh, we'll get rid of Mr. Blade Knight because he has less health, because, you know, why not? Super Fire Sword! I wonder if there's any limit to that at all. So basically, I'm just going to have an entourage of helpers behind me the whole game, giving me power-ups. Okay. I wouldn't put a flaming sword on your back like that. That just seems kind of bad. So I'm guessing that the, like, the elemental guys are going to be really useful because they're going to give you power-ups like that, but the weapon guys are not going to be helpful unless you want to steal their powers later. Because I believe you can take powers from your friends at the cost of them dying, which means you're a great friend. Okay, let's yeah, it's a little bit weird to double-tap on this to run. I will probably not 100% this game, by the way. I'm not doing that. Kirby games are annoying. To 100%. It's Mr. Frosty! Can you make friends with him? Yes! Oh, it turns into a generic snow guy. Uh, we'll get rid of the bombs. I was hoping I could actually make, like, a miniature friend Frosty. That would have been pretty cool. There we go. Or it's Maxim Tomatoes. Yeah, you have to wait until you actually do the spin, and then you can do it. Because if you do it beforehand, you just do this. this? I thought it was like tigers that used to be like the martial arts guys. He had a headband on, so I don't know. Okay. And they leash to you, which is cool. Do we have the, the bouncy minigame? Oh, fuck. I suck at this. I've always been terrible at this. Alright, never mind. I think they made it easier. It used to be kinda difficult to do. Oh, they don't give you one-ups? Yeah, I guess not. 
Yeah, see, it's it's the fucking swap pass from 3DS. I used to fiend for this shit, and nowadays I don't even care anymore. I, I, st I think they stopped releasing puzzles for it. I think they added like 50 puzzles to it, and that was enough. Which makes me sad, because I wish there was one for Samus Returns. But to my knowledge, I don't think there is. Mm. The Donut Dome. Because oh, it's got water. We'll get rid of Sir Kibble. Ironically, this is the only way I'm ever gonna learn, like, anyone's names in a Kirby game. What? He didn't die? Okay. Or you could do this. Burn him. Oh yeah, the teleporting bullets. Breaking this give anything? And yes, how laboratories also make Smash. They they're the same place that does that. Is he not gonna oh, I can break it up? So I kinda like about how laboratories they're they're pretty good at this type of stuff. There you go, buddies, get him. I wonder if there's a perfect combination that basically lets the game play it for you. Imagine that a game that does the fucking playthrough for you. I actually know one game that does that, and someday I will do a playthrough on the game. It's still a long game, but I, I do want to do it just for the fucking jokes. Just set it up and let the game fucking run itself. <laughs> oh, this guy means business. Get him. Double team. Triple team. It's a hot dog with relish and a delicious cheeseburger. And then, of course, they kiss each other to share health. Oh no, there are stones. Let's see. I'll get rid of Burning Leo. So what is Rocky gonna do? He's gonna give you a right and then a left! You can also spawn friends from these things, so I presumably... If I was playing as him right now, I would be able to just slide on down, but I'm not going to unless I need to to get something. Because he automatically knows when he's needed. How laboratories like working on fucking plantations or some shit right now? Because they're make they made this game and then now they're already making Smash 5. So I don't know, dude. They might be overworked. I mean it fucked up I mean this year. He turns into the Mario block. Life is suffering when your name is Sakurai. Not even Google recognizes you for who you are. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to get rid of the sword ability for this, yeah. Uh... Oh. Holy shit, they can do it themselves. I don't have to do shit. That's pretty cool, actually, so I can just keep my power up. So if you just have the necessary friends required, they can just do whatever the fuck they want, and you can keep your power up. I 
never did do a playthrough on Squeak Squad, I don't think. I don't think I ever did any, like, 3DS playthroughs on the Wii U. I almost did a few. It just coincidentally happened that it never happened. Ah, she gave my sword ice. That's fine. It actually worked in my favor somehow. Chance. Ah, oh, you gave me water. I guess it's it's just better to do it, period. Now the problem is I might Oh wait. Genius! I can just fuck around. I'm literally not even really doing anything. I'm just messing around at this point. <laughs> The, the fucking AI is playing for me at this point. I'm just kind of guiding them to the objectives. If you press minus, does it drop it instantly? Yes, it does. Okay. It does not remove the effect, though. I've never seen those enemies before. Can I even hit them? I wonder if they're new. I, I don't remember ever seeing anything like that. Oh, this is the end of the mission? Oh, it opens the Dream Palace. I guess this one is just not hidden, but the other ones are. Because usually these switches, uh unlock various different places in the overworld. So in this game, it unlocks Dream Palace. Okay. No secrets. I'm beginning to wonder if this game has, like, any secrets that maybe I've missed. Or if it's fairly straightforward. Oh boy! Okay, that was terrible. So you don't get a puzzle piece if you don't do that. Just fuck me up, fam. This is- I am the worst at this bonus game. Usually I'm good at these types of things. Honey Hill. Is this just like a place where you can go to get power-ups? Like the museums? The Dream Rod to summon special front. It looks different. Maybe mean a dream character if you use the dream rod. Dream friends. Is that the spear, Waddle Dee? Yeah. Uh. Dribbly. Dribbly. So what does he do? He just pokes shit with a spear. Alright. Fine by me. Yeah, drop through the floor. What the fuck is this thing? Oh yeah, forget it. Now what does what's his Oh, this is the guy with the yo-yo! Apparently fighting wars. I 
I think the a different person used yo-yos, right? I don't remember. No, he's dead. So, does every stage have a big stage? You can give him what, ice yo-yo? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Blizzard yo-yo. So what exactly does it give him as a power? Oh, we need fire to do this, okay. Well, I'm gonna get rid of Rocky then, because after the second or third movie, his movies kinda suck. So we'll do this instead. Okay. Saying so he knows what to do? Oh shit! He immediately knew what to do. Feed it like bird style. Like mama bird style fucking spit the shit in its mouth, regurgitate it. Listen, I just liked it better when I thought they were kissing, as fucking lewd as that is, it, it was better for the kids. Holy shit, that's fucking nasty. I'm not a fan of that shit. That's gross. <laughs> Kirby's a new boy. Okay, I think that part was actually in um the demo. Fucking poor Waddledees. I feel King DDD is a real fucking asshole. He takes so poor care of the Waddledees like all the time. All right now. Apparently they think they're playing a uh, Katamari. Could not be any more wrong. Uh, let's get rid of Chili. Everyone else has been relevant so far. Dude, what the fuck? Is this hinting at a Kirby x Katamari uh, crossover? Possibly. What the fuck? There's probably a special thing you get for killing that. I'm, I'm guessing. Like a puzzle piece or something. That's why he intentionally is writing the board to show that he's special, but also when he falls off, it's like you lost, you missed out on something. I'm actually not used to enemies not dying in one hit. I think he needs to be guided to it. Thank you, Mr. Yo-Yo-Man. You can't fully go inside of it anymore. Yo, he whipped the shit out of him. Went over there like Django Unchained. Am I supposed to, like, save them? Oh, okay. Otherwise, they would break this key. You wouldn't be able to get it. Extra stage. Round trip. Oh, okay. They actually differentiate which doors are one time now. 
I'll never remember that. But that is nice. Is this the end of the stage? I'm pretty sure three stars is the end of the stage, maybe? Apparently not. It's just meant to show a big goal. No secrets in a Kirby game. Zero. Nope, okay. Already have a fire one. Alright, hop to it. Can you put fire on the whip? Maybe? Is this the end of the stage? Shit. I think last time I went in a golden door like that, that was the end of the stage. Let me see. He doesn't even really need to get in, because he teleports to me. I'm curious, because it's very easy to get here. I it might just be because it is literally the first world. Yeah, shit. Whatever. I wonder if the way I went before is a secret way out. Well, it's time to suck ass at this again. Yeah, forget it. I did it perfectly the first try, and now I'm never gonna replicate it. I even need food. This is the most realistic interpretation of Swap Pass ever, and that's not a joke. I mean, listen, it could be worse. It could be farming some more and fucking fi <laughs> Fire Emblem Warriors. It could always be worse. Nope. I'm taking these. I wonder how long the extra stages are. Oh, Ninja Kirby. Uh... Bio Spark. Mm, we'll keep, uh... We'll get rid of Burning Leo. Even though I should have taken it for myself. Get rid of Wester. Yeah, apparently three star doors are not a uh, not the end of the level. I think it takes you to like the next to last left part of the level, maybe. Oh, it's these things. Kirby games used to be really like fucking insane. What did I miss? Oh, nothing really. Yeah, the floor's too thick. To have like really weird shit going on in Kirby games. Okay, so the game is not trying to deceive me or anything. Yo, what the fuck, Ninja? Come on! Bust his ass. <laughs> oh god damn it, I wasn't looking, I was too busy laughing at him. I was legitimately too busy laughing at him. He got fucked up over nothing. It's supposed to be my job. Well, you guys proved to me that an AI could beat this game, but I can't. There's a key. 
key somewhere. Well, you can't take keys through doors, so someone here has to have a key. Yeah, I have no clue. Can you burn these trees? I don't think you can. Alright, forget it. Shit. Forget it. This game is like Kirby's really awkward makeout session. Unless you retain keys through doors, but I think you have to carry it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's like a sort of an escort sort of a deal. Is it gonna hop up? I'm not even gonna wait around to see. Nope, there's an even bigger one. Thank you, my friends. My comrades. I really feel bad for the Waddledees. Waddledees get the most abuse ever. Is that it? Yeah. Why Bio Spark? Like, what is the significance of the name? Who's this? Oh, bonkers! Hammer is actually a really good ability in like every curve. So basically, they'll fight him for me, and all I have to do is just dodge. Whereas before, I used to actually have to use skill to kill him. They'll do it for me, so I just don't have to do anything. Oh shit! It's a double. I've never seen this one. This is. New. It's not the painter on roller skates. I got their 2D to this floor. The bonkers actually doesn't help me. I need something more aerial based. Uh, Bio Spark is dead, so forget him. So you actually need her to paint various things. Is there any reason to have taken the hammer? She can. I guess every so often she can paint a fridge and it can heal us. I was very confused by that. Well, nothing like fine art, if my experiences in Final Fantasy have taught me anything. Literally, a picture is worth a thousand words. I jumped way too early! <laughs> a picture is literally worth a thousand words. And this playthrough is only worth one. BAD! Yeah, I really do not sleep enough at night to do this anymore. Holy shit. I'm, my eyes are literally on fire. Well, that was terrible. I'm never gonna speak about that again. Western is looking pretty lit. Oh, she accidentally threw it away. That was a mistake. No, stop kissing me! They really like riding these things. Holy shit. I don't want to make out. 
Have you ever heard of mono? You're not at all a little bit paranoid about that shit. Now, if I remember correctly, they merged Burning Kirby and Fire Kirby in a Squeak Squad, so now they're the same ability. Yeah. Now, what's funny is that the Parasol should come back down. I guess not. Okay. The Parasol used to have a mind of its own and come back down to, like, try to hurt you. Apparently not in this game. I'm actually curious. Can you climb walls anymore using Burning Curve? No, you cannot. I can remove that. I think they removed that in Squeak Squad, actually, because it became a command as opposed to an actual ability. literally just make out. You can use a reset platform. I just think that's a little rude, maybe? I see, so it lets you take out all your different friends. It's basically a massive game of wish fulfillment. Dribbly. Can you wait until I have to go to other stages to farm certain power-ups? And then come back? Oh, you can roll bombs. Okay. This is different. You can roll them and exchange them with long throwers. Or you can quick throw. Why is the music dimming out? Oh, because it's Wispy Woods. So can I just throw bombs at him? I love Wispy Woods. He's my favorite, like, enemy ever. Oh, he drew a Meta Knight! That's dope! I actually did not know that he could draw a Meta Knight. Look at this, and the fucking AI even does mechanics. Can you believe this shit? I can't even get real-life humans to do mechanics in fucking video games. It's like a Deku tree, but really wimpier. Who's the brainchild behind Kirby, anyway? He's a weird guy. Off to join Kingdom Hearts, yes. So, if it's a boss fight, it ends the stage. That's fair enough. Clash at Castle DDD. Seems like there was a secret exit. Because there would be something over here, it looks like. Maybe. Alright, well, whatever. Too much work to go back, so I'm just gonna keep going forward. What the hell is this thing? Oh, that's cute. It's like the usual shit for the electricity. The things that have the circular spark. Yeah, the bomb arcs are not that high. They really kind of did me dirty on that. Because I used to love the bomb power ups. I remember in Squeak Squad, I had a whole line of, of my favorite powers. Let's 
shit that was really good. the throwing bug. <laughs> yeah, he, he does like suplexes and shit. It's really dope. No, no. Friend him. Uh, let's get rid of Dribbly. He's actually like a fully playable party member. Execute this dude. <laughs> I want him in my party always. Look at this shit. I love him. He, I remember the throwing Kirby and uh, the other Kirby that was that was for fighting were my favorite in Nightmare and Dreamland because you just start suplexing people. A lot of good shit, man. That game is one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games. What? Someone can get on and he can throw them. Friend throw, okay. I wonder if I can hold a bomb infinitely. Okay, but I can't fly while holding it. And no one here gives elements. Do they? Can he throw the bomb? Oh no, he's just setting up for his own ability. Okay, anyway. You... Shit. I don't think you can. I think this one has to be broken by him throwing someone. Yes. Got it. Even if I get hit. No, he grabbed his ass. <laughs> he grabbed him and just threw him. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the bomb power up. But I do like bomb. I think bomb is one of my favorite abilities. Just because of the how quickly you can throw shit with it. Watch me need the electric guy. Like, whenever there's a problem, DDD, uh, the first thing Kirby does is go fuck up King DDD. Even if he's not the root of the problem. Okay, a nice little makeout session right there. Really good. I know they did it in other Kirby games, it's just really weird to see in 3D. Uh, I mean, I, I only have four people anyway. There's not really too much to really do here, so might as well just keep all four of them. Oh no, hold on, we'll, we'll try this guy. Hold on, so we'll reset everyone. We'll keep, uh... These two. Um, do they stay if I scroll them off screen? Okay, we'll keep Knuckle Joe. Um... The question is, do I want Cutter? Cutter might be better. He blocked. Holy shit. Can you throw him up? Yeah, but you have to... You can't move if you do that. Alright, whatever. Fruit doesn't even look that good anymore. 
His royal nemesis. Okay, DDD will actually, like, fuck you up in some of the other games. He's actually really hard. <laughs> He drew his painting! Come on! Didn't you play Final Fantasy VI? That's like the nicest thing you can ever do for someone. Ship damage! Come on, keep attacking him! He's gonna prove that he goes to the gym. Look at this. His royal swollen is King DDD. Okay, the last thing I want to do is size up with this dude. Fuck that. Y'all are dumb. <laughs> Throwing, yeah, I think the fruit is supposed to be rotten. It's really gross. I'll draw your painting, Uncle Ulti. Bugsy, my dude, what are you doing? I think it's because he's melee. The only thing he knows how to do is just to run straight in. Shit! Oh, okay, that's a phase transition. I don't think I can heal him. I think he's just gonna die, unfortunately. Yep. Never forget. Looks like a good time. Okay. What did I do? Well, so much for the Chad DDD versus the Virgin Kirby. So you can revive your friends. That's good. Half of these guys being actually difficult bosses and, uh, other Kirby games. Yes, thank you. That's obviously the end of the game, so that's the end of the playthrough. I really have nothing much else to say. You know, this is $60 for about, what, 30 minutes of gameplay? Good, let's get this shit out the way. Thanks, Hot Laboratories, you fucking assholes. <laughs> do they really do that? Why? Really scary shit going on in this game. It's like they know that it's a meme game. They only make meme games anyway. So fuck it, we just leave DDD. Onward. Oh, you can now call on uh, King DDD if you manage to select him. Chase the Dark Hearts across the world of miracles. Hold up to will. Mighty friend abilities. Kirby and Paul's continue their journey of companionship across the vast seas and rolling hills. Oh. So, there's different worlds here that you can select. Is this just specifically... Yeah, this is Planet Popstar. So we can go to different places. This is Dreamland over here. I've never actually known what Kirby's world looks like. I just know it's a star. You can't land anywhere else. Okay. Friendly field. Is that instant death? See, I'm curious, because sometimes they'll make pits like that in a lot of games. Oh, you can actually use it as a melee weapon. Well, none of us have fire, I don't think. He also has friends, though. Okay. Unless the broom guys now have an ability. Hold on, I actually have to see. Yeah, they do. They have no face, which is creeping me, but alright. Bluster cutter, so now I can do it. 
That's interesting. Because before, these enemies were actually, like, they didn't do anything. They had no attributes, they had no nothing. Now apparently they're, they're major. They give you some sort of a bonus ability. Damn, alright. Just flat out murder him, why don't you? Thank you. Yeah. So now I don't need him anymore because I have the wind. I wonder if the bear has an ability. These things don't, it looks like. Oh, thanks for throwing them onto me, by the way. I appreciate it. Okay, they don't have anything. I forgot that the sleeping enemies actually hurt you if you walk into them. I don't know why I forgot something as basic as that. I figured they were docile. I don't know. What else can I say? Because Sleep Kirby is literally worthless. I'm not sure unless there's been like some meme usage for him. Yeah, so there is a reason to go down there. Straightforward. So I guess stuff isn't as hidden. Because shit used to be very fucking cryptic. Like jumping into the moon and using it as a secret door in that one throwback stage to like Kirby's original uh, dreamland. Yeah. Stuff like that in some of the older games. Mm. Okay, we have a buster. I already have it. So all I have to do is... Actually, I'm, I'm curious. Okay, go straight up if you alternate up to this, I see. It changes, it doesn't go behind you anymore. Damn, alright. Best party member. <laughs> Calling it right now. Okay. Dude grabbed him immediately. As soon as he was weak. He goes right for them. I don't even need to do anything. He's just my number one bodyguard. Headbutted him. It's my bro right there. See, he was a hard boss, him and the fucking elephant. But nowadays, they're the best of buds, apparently. Kirby and him are really good friends. Alright, that was easy to find. So I guess there's going to be a friend platform at some point in this part. Ah, uh, it looked like there was like a little hidden drop there.
I actually like that melee. Move. I think it makes Cutter way more useful. What are we gonna do? Form the Wheel of Friendship. Ah, I was close. Friend circle. if you die, do all your friends disappear, or do you just respawn with them? I'm actually curious. There's no way to stop this. I don't feel like hovering all around every single corner of each stage, so if I ever want to 100% this, I'm, I'm probably going to look this shit up, because I'm never doing that again. I'm never getting above two again, either. So do I already have 27 lives? This game pretty much throws them out. Unless later on I'm going to need 27, 28 lives just to get through a stage. Oh man, playing Nightmare in Dreamland on hard was such a bitch. It's terrible. Reef Resort. No, I'm not really interested in using the Dream Palace. Alright, so anyway, we're going to continue now. Doing various things. Ooh, spit. Oh no, it's not a constant stream of water, so... Uh... shoot bubbles in this one. Yeah, apparently the parasols don't come back. Uh, I brought it back there because it was like a boomerang for a bit. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. They used to like come back to try to hit you like a few times or so. It used to be like one of these really like... What the fuck was that? Oh, these are like gumdrop enemies. I think they're from like some really old Kirby game. I brought them back. Okay. With airiness. Yeah, so basically wind alters it. What do I need? need fire. And a parasol. That works. Yeah, he'll he'll extend it. Okay, a chumbrella. Okay. Never getting rid of the painter, by the way. I have no clue how to, like, force her to paint the refrigerator, though. If that's, like, a one-time thing you can only do in certain places. I don't think I've needed to say goodbye to anyone. I guess later on if you only need so many people, but so far we've been pretty good with stuff. I am liking this better than the Rainbow Curse, though. And that's mostly just because I, I didn't like 
Rainbow Curse, just mostly because I didn't like Canvas Curse. It was fun to play, it's just, it, this is way more like a traditional Kirby game, and I like that much more. I mean, it's obviously easier, but... Granted, it wasn't until I was, like, 14 or 15, I think, when I actually played, like, hard mode for Nightmare in Dreamland. Because I think you have to unlock it. I don't think it unlocks automatically. You have to 100% the main game. And, to be fair, that kind of gate is probably fine, because, again, on hard mode, it's very difficult. for this level. Yeah, see, so you can float all the way up here. Just skip over shit. But because there's actually stuff in this level you might not want to miss, I don't want to do that. Okay. Shit. That fucking fight sound is great. umbrella here no matter what. Maybe I should do it. Because I don't know if he'll move quickly enough for me to do this. Yeah, he won't. Alright, so I actually need to do it. Parasol. How do you make the big umbrella? Oh, I just hold it up, okay. Easy. You just have to be the one to do it. Soul, you can hold it out. Um, it also alters your fall rate by making it much slower. It's actually a pretty decent ability. Open the extra stage. Yeah, so I like it. it, it they made a lot of the weapons much better as time went on. I think uh, with Amazing Mirror kind of upped it, and then Squeak Squad improved a lot of them even further. We need sword. No, you killed him. <laughs> He's literally too good. Okay. Okay, so underwater you can use certain abilities. Like obviously you can't use fire underwater, but here I can use the parasol. This is just a, an umbrella, it doesn't matter. Nothing over there. Okay. You can spread the uh, the candy around because it is food. it with the stars too. I mean, I guess that makes sense. He has a super ladle. Yeah, I don't even need to do anything. Yo! <laughs> he took 
took him out! Uh, we'll give her to Burning Leo. Threw that shit right the fuck back in him. Wait, what? You, you deep fried my friends, you asshole. I don't get it. I have no clue what that did. At least to my friends. There you go. So we got three mini bosses as my party right now. I think I did it. Nope, still two. <laughs> I'm never gonna get it. That's it. Okay, almost done with one of them. Actually, we're almost done with two. Oh no, I think that was the same one they brought back for the other uh, rainbow piece. Echo's Edge. Inside Islands. It's only a rainbow piece here. I only play the classic music for these levels. Until you actually need Wester. do need them. I wonder what it does. Uh, can I do it, maybe? Let's see. Spider Kirby, I, I believe, is new. Friend Boat! Okay. My full party of Kirby mini-bosses, and I are just running through shit at this point. What, is, what does this even do? You can shoot web! <laughs> the fucking memes. They, they knew this was a meme game, holy shit. Literally bringing up the point of, how do I shot web? Dude, I love the fact that it's classic music. Alright, thank you, Kawasaki. This was, uh, Orange Ocean, right? Orange Ocean in, uh, Kirby Nightmare. Otherwise, it was the generic music, uh, water music theme, I think. I see, you get iframes if you bounce off the web. Oops. Oh, asshole. Fuck. I like the plug enemies. I think it's pretty much a one-to-one. -one. 
It just sounds better because the sound quality is better than the Game Boy Advance. Or the Game Boy original, I believe, which is what the first Kirby game was on. I might be wrong. It just sounds nicer, but it's exactly the same song. There's no remixes added to it or anything. Fuck is this? A big flack noise. I actually was really considering doing a playthrough of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and or Crystal, but the only way I could actually really kind of capture it is to either use the GameCube Game Boy Player or to use an emulator. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a possibility. I mean, maybe. Yeah. I'll probably have to emulate it because I don't want to delete my old saves. Not that they matter anymore because I basically made them a million times better on my 3DS. Which is nice. I got like the whole OG setup for a lot of it. See that. I knew they were gonna do something like this. Is that it? Okay. Oh, no, avoid it! I'll save you. Nightmare in Dreamland is fun as fuck to play. Well, that's it for the nostalgia. Oh shit, Sun and Moon? Oh no, it's Bugsy and uh, the other dude. Mr. Frosty. I really hope the sun and moon come back, actually. Holy shit. That'd be pretty dope. Oh, no! Get him, Bugsy. Conquer yourself. He did it. Shit, I was hoping I could make him explode. I think they explode naturally after so much time. Right? Actually, we might need him. Let me get rid of uh, Chef Kawasaki. I have no clue what that was. Yeah, I probably didn't need him. I figured that maybe there would be a puzzle that needed him later. Okay. I might have got it. Yeah. I did it. Fairly simple. They're fucking calling again. I I'm seriously going to take the phone off of the receiver. And I'm not being an asshole. It, it seriously is some fucking... Alright, I'm gonna be right back. 